Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. So, as you know, yesterday was my giveaway live stream where uh, two out of four puzzles found their new owners. The first winner decided to choose the talisman puzzle made of Pin Oak and Venge. The second uh, person who won, he wrote just the shortest uh, message ever. It was just a, a s uh, emoji face. And uh, I thought it's gonna be a, like a one-time viewer who will never come back again, but I was wrong. He wrote me a message on Facebook. He said that it was his first ever comment on YouTube. Can you imagine the only comment on YouTube? And he got a uh, puzzle uh, because of that comment. And he decided to go with Galette puzzle made of cherry and purple heart. So that's a pretty lucky guy. First comment and uh, he got a puzzle. So congrats to both winners and if uh, you took part in this giveaway but didn't win anything, uh, I still have two more Pelican puzzles that I'm not gonna keep, I'm gonna give away them. Uh, probably later this month I'm gonna do another live stream, but like a big live stream with Q&A and all this stuff and uh, make a giveaway during the live stream. So I haven't decided it yet, but I'll let you know uh, when it's gonna happen. And now let's talk about news. First of all, Pelican starts selling their new puzzles. So if you want to buy any of these six puzzles, go to their website. Also, uh, they sell a couple of puzzles from previous releases. Second, I don't know if you saw yesterday's Puzzling Time with Tony and Tyler on Puzzle Master's uh, YouTube channel. They announced, uh, as I remember, five new metal puzzles. And one of the puzzles, I don't remember the exact name, but I can remember that the name was The Beast. It has more than 100 moves and it comes disassembled. I don't even imagine who can solve this puzzle. At the beginning of the uh, watching the video, I was like, okay, I want this puzzle. It looks pretty interesting. But then when I found that it requires like 100 steps and uh, even with the uh, solution, it takes three hours to assemble it. I said, okay, no, 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 I don't want the puzzle. Probably I want it just to put on my shelf, but never try to solve it since it sounds even more challenging than all the puzzles combined that I've solved so far. And the last news, uh, probably, you know, there is a YouTube channel. Um, I don't know the, the name of this guy, something like Chris Ramsey. I don't know if you saw this channel, like a very small channel. So he released his own puzzle. What do you think about this puzzle? Uh, do you want me to solve it on my channel? Do you want me to try to solve this puzzle? Or do you think that uh, this puzzle is pretty easy and uh, not worth buying it? So let me know in the comments what do you think about that. And that's all news for today. Now let's talk about today's puzzle. Today I'm gonna solve a crazy elephant dance puzzle. This puzzle was designed by Marcus Goetz and made by 22 Hobbies. It has difficulty level 9 out of 10 and the object of the puzzle is to remove the slider with these colorful parts. Uh, this puzzle has three simple rules. The first rule is that you can rotate uh, each piece only in one uh, place of this frame right here. Second rule is that you can rotate the part only three directions up to the right and down. And the third rule, the part supposed to be facing down in order to move it out of the frame. So just three simple rules, but uh, if you follow uh, these rules, this puzzle requires 367 steps to solve it. And probably when you're gonna solve it first time, like I'm gonna do right now, it's gonna take you 500 moves or maybe even more than 500 moves. Uh, definitely for me, it's gonna be more than 500 for the first time. And uh, about the name of this puzzle, if you look at it like this, it looks like an elephant head with a trunk, but if you look at it like this, or like this maybe, I don't know, but for me it looks like a toilet bowl. But let's, let, let's think that it's a, a, an elephant head. If you like crazy elephant dance puzzle and you want to buy it, link is, as always is gonna be in a video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's try to solve the crazy elephant dance puzzle let's take a closer look at it first there are one two three four five six seven parts that kind of look like an elephant head all of them have a cutout on this side there is a small sticking out part in here so when i try to remove the whole row of elephants 
it is stuck right in here so I have to rotate them I think that all of them are supposed to be facing down in order to remove this part okay so it's gonna take me 367 steps if I do only correct moves to solve the puzzle but since it is my first try probably I'm gonna do about 500 moves before I will be able to solve the puzzle so okay let's start the stopwatch and let's see what I can do uh, as it's written in the description uh, there is only one spot where I can rotate the elephant and I think it is gonna be right here since yeah here I can rotate it but let's see if it's gonna be here I can't rotate it this one on the other side the red one I can't rotate it as well okay so that means that I can rotate it and then to remove it I can pull it out but then I have to rotate this one and probably I have to okay I can rotate it only in one spot right here and now I can't remove it since I have to rotate it down but I can move this up okay but now I can't rotate this piece and what I can do to rotate it I can go back oh okay I can move it up rotate it down okay I think that I've got the idea now I just have to make all 367 moves to solve the puzzle okay but what's next if I move this up now I can move oh okay now I can move this one this I can move down and this will go no no not down this is supposed to go up these go down oh yeah that's gonna take like a crazy amount of moves so this goes down this go okay three out and now if I want to remove this one I have to move all previous parts and then when I have to remove the last one I have to move all six parts okay that's gonna be a really challenging okay this goes here so next what I have to do next this goes up this goes here like this and what's gonna be next I don't know if I have to move this piece now doesn't look like it but I have to okay I have to rotate this part down and in order to do it I have to move this part okay and now I have to rotate this part okay so I have to rotate all parts and now to be able to rotate the yellow down I have to move all previous parts so first I think that I have to move the yellow right here now I have to move the second white piece to the right yeah that looks like it okay probably I'm very close to finishing these four parts but then I have to go back and move all other parts okay something is not right now if this goes up and this goes down ah okay maybe I have to do it like this yeah so as I told you I'm gonna Pro probably do like 500 moves since even now I made like extra 20 moves I think so let's see now I can move the orange one I think that I'm getting a little bit better in solving this puzzle still I'm gonna make a lot of move and un unnecessary moves okay so 
five parts are out. I have two more parts to go. And it's gonna be a challenge now. Okay. So in order to move this piece, I have to move this up. I have to move this up. Okay, so now I think that I have just to move all parts up again. I can move the orange piece up and the blue will go down okay but now I have to move the orange piece down in order to do something with the red piece who and to move the orange piece down what I have to do I have to move it here and then rotate the green piece but to rotate the green piece I have to move all previous parts okay Last couple of steps before I will be able to move the red piece. Whoa. That's almost done. You can't even see the whole puzzle right now. So let's re. Yeah. So I have to move the red piece down now. And I'm just one tiny step from solving it, but now I have to move all pieces again. Oh, do I want to do it? I don't really think that I want to do all these moves now, but I have to if I want to solve the puzzle. Yeah, but that's only half of the solution. Since then I have to put everything back. And probably I'm not gonna cheat this time and I have to move everything back. And the red goes... Uh, I thought I, I can remove it now, but still the blue part, I have to move it down now. Okay, so to move it down, I have to start from it. And next, I have to move all parts again. Okay, I think that I'm just a couple of moves from solving the puzzle. And this goes down. No, 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 this goes down, this goes up, this goes down. And that's gonna be like one, two, three, and four moves. And finally, the puzzle is solved. Okay, it took me almost 30 minutes to remove this part and now I can clearly see why this puzzle need those spare parts since there is a small plastic bag with spare parts that comes with the puzzle in case if you solve it uh, pretty aggressive you may break these uh, stoppers and you might break this sticking out part okay so that was 30 minutes but now I have to move everything back and probably it's gonna take me 30 minutes more. So let's, let's see, I think that I have to do it. Yeah, let's start. So this goes up and the red will go here. And now I have to go all the way back to move the, or maybe I have to move the blue piece first here and now figure out the way how to move it down and then the red will go up, okay. Okay, now when the blue piece is down, I have to move all the previous parts to move then the red piece. Okay, so what I have to do now, I have to move the, orange piece down, okay. Ooh, finally I can move the red piece up, but still to complete the solution, I have to make all these moves back. And first I have to move the 
blue piece up and to move it I have to move all other parts. Okay. And now the blue piece goes up and I have only five parts left but still it's gonna take me quite some time to solve it. Okay, the orange goes up and only four parts left. Hope it's gonna take me less than five minutes to solve the rest of the parts. Okay, the green is up and now only three parts left and that's gonna be just a piece of a cake. Yeah, I know exactly what I have to do. I don't think that I'm gonna do unnecessary moves now since these three parts it is pretty easy to figure out what to do. Ta -da! Done! Okay. 43 minutes to solve this puzzle both ways and it took me 30 minutes to solve it one way and 15 minutes to solve another way. Finally, I've been able to solve this puzzle. Probably it took me more than 1000 moves to solve it both ways. The, the second part when I was uh, putting the slider back uh, took me less time, probably around uh, 13 or 14 minutes and probably less moves since uh, I knew what I have to do. But the first part was quite a challenge. Sometimes I made extra, I don't know, 100 moves, maybe 50 moves, uh, since I didn't know which way I have to go. This puzzle is pretty confusing when you solve it. At one point, you're just forgetting what you want to do and you start moving backwards. And then you realize that you do something wrong and you uh, start doing it forward again. And that's make like a lot of uh, uh, moves, unnecessary moves, but eventually you will be able to figure out the way, but it might take you much more than 367 moves. So I think it was the most confusing of all puzzles that requires like a lot of moves and a lot of, a lot of uh, similar moves to solve the puzzle. Nevertheless, this is the great puzzle. Uh, really enjoyed solving it. I like such uh, kind of puzzles where you have uh, to make a lot of moves since I have a lot of patience to solve such kind of puzzles. But if you don't want to spend 30-40 minutes doing exactly the same moves again and again, probably this puzzle is not for you. But if you like something like that, I can recommend you to buy this puzzle. And if you want to buy it, link is going to be in a video description. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.